All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala, back at it again with another Lord's Word of Edifying Lesson through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. But before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible. And Ruel, and Shalawam, Labachorium, Wabarakim, Shayasharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nations of Israel in the Lashim Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. Now, this is the book of Ezekiel 7. I'm going to start at verse 5. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 5. As a matter of fact, at the top headings, it says, The Lord will pour out his anger. Right? Because according to Psalm 7 and 11, the Lord is angry with the wickedness that goes on with these wicked-ass people every day. So this is the book of Ezekiel, 7, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. In evil, and only evil, behold, is come and is here. Evil goes into bad times, misfortunes, calamities, you know, catastrophes, you know, when you're catching pure hell. That comes from Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, who the world even calls God and Jesus Christ, man, for your wickedness. You know, just like the things that we go through, you know what I'm saying, um, in this ministry and this truth when the Lord put us through hell and tests, okay, it's for what we done, man. But the difference is that it's for our refinement, though, it's to make us better. The Lord is putting these people through the spiritual fire right now so he can destroy them, man. All right. Those are our people who don't want to repent of your so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians, man. That's why our people bug out when the Lord puts pure hell on them, man. So I got this uh, precept right here concerning evils. This is the book of Second Edges 14 and 16 for yet greater evils. Greater bad times, right? So prepare to see more deletions, more job layoffs, more uh, evictions, more homelessness, more more love of the meanly waxing colder, more power outages, more storms, you know, so on and so forth, right? It says it's only going to intensify. This is uh second edges fourteen and sixteen. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. You see that? So it's only going to get worse as the days go on, man. This week is going to be worse than last week. All right. Next week is going to be worse than this week. Next year is going to be worse than uh, next year is going to be worse than this year, man. It's only going to get worse. The Lord is going to intensify the evils. And that puts more fear on us to make sure that we're doing what is pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. Right. Because we fear the Lord, man. As a matter of fact, hold on. Since I said that. Before I go back into the lesson, let me bring this out. Since I said that, this is the book of sick. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach. Excuse me. This is Ecclesiasticus or Sirach two verse fifteen. They that fear the Lord, which is where it starts, when you have that deep reverence and deep level of respect for Yahweh by Shem and Yahweh Shah, right, will not disobey His word. You see that. And how does the Lord speak through his prophets, the men of the Lord? So when the spirit hops on the elder apostles slash elder bishops uh, for us to do something, we do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the camp heads, you know, those in a leadership position, when they tell us to do something, we do it to the best of our abilities, right? Because we fear you, how about Shem and we know the Lord is speaking through those men, okay? And then, of course, we go back into the scriptures and read the scriptures, okay, on our own. And, 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 and the Lord confirmation through the Holy Spirit. So this is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes of Sirach 2, verse 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. That's why we no longer do the things that we was doing back in the world, man. All that wickedness, man. The sincere brothers and sincere sisters no longer do uh, wickedness, man. Concerning what we did back in the world, like, like eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, smoking cigarettes, getting tattoos, lineups, uh, going to the to the club, shaking your ass, hopping from ride to ride, you know what I'm saying, it's being disobedient to your man, you know, so on and so forth. You know, we no longer do that. We put those things away, right? Because we fear you, how about shit, man, how about shy? It says, uh, and they that love him will keep his 
ways, which is what the law, statutes, commandments, and that that proves that you love the Lord. Did not Lord Yahweh Shah tell his disciples? It says, "If you love me, keep the keep my commandments, man." Okay, because love is an action; it's not no damn feeling. So back in uh, Ezekiel seven verse five, it says, "Thus saith the Lord, power in evil, and only evil behold, which means to look is come and is here." Verse six, and end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. And it's, and it's getting nearer and nearer. You know what I'm saying? Then what we believe, man. This man, the end of this man's worship of the wicked, the so-called white man, Sleazy E, <coughs> beginning with their wicked elites, their worship, their time is almost up, man. And who is up next? We are. Beginning with the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord, is willing to be a part of the elect. Underneath Lord Yahweh Shah. And it's going to be an everlasting, righteous, rulership kingdom, man. Everything's going to be beautiful. Everything's going to be in order. There's going to be no more wickedness, okay, with the children of Israel, our people. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be beautiful, man. We're going to be executing true justice, true judgment, man, through the inspiration of Yahweh by Shemai Shah and these heathen nations, man. You know? But that's another lesson for another time, Lord's will. This is the book of uh, Ezekiel 7, chapter, standing in the 7th chapter, but I'm going to jump down 20, to the 25th verse. This is Ezekiel 7, verse 25, destruction cometh. Now, when you go into the word destruction, in the blue letter Bible, it goes back to the Hebrew word, kwa pada, kwa pada, which means a terror. You see what I'm saying? Man, come on, man. You see that? And we're living in those times now, man. Who's bringing the terror or the judgments on the planet Earth? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh who the world ignorant calls God and Jesus Christ, man. The same one that it says all about loves, hugs, and kisses. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? The same one is is is, is executing beautiful, be like it. Yeah. Well, it is beautiful, uh, but I meant to say brutal, torturous, horrific judgment throughout the whole planet of Earth, man. That's the times that we're living in right now. Okay, that's why we're redeeming the times. The times that we're living in now, we're spending on serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah and being on the Lord's good side, man. Because the days are evil. They're bad, they're terrible, they're risky, and they're dangerous, right? So we need as much of that hedge of protection from the Lord as much as possible, more now than ever. This is the book of Ezekiel 7, verse 25. Destruction cometh, and it's here. Terror is here. Bad times are here. Anguish is here. It says, and they shall seek peace. And there shall be none, right? Their peace is what, uh, their comfort. Like I said in Sirach 5 and 7, it says, uh, And through thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. So the ones of our people that trust in this system, trust in their weaponries, their money, all right? They think it's a, it's another solution, okay? Then the repenting of serving, serving back, coming back and serving Yahweh by Shema Shah. Well, the Lord's going to put them to sleep, man. But before the Lord puts them to sleep, the Lord's going to put them through some torturous, Gruesome judgment first, man. The Lord's going to torture the hell out of them with those judgments, man. You know, seeing apparitions. You know what I'm saying? Go have your, uh, your job cut off. Or the Lord's going to put the spirit on you to take that digital device. And the, the Lord might, the Lord going to put it on uh, the spirit on sleeves to eat, not to feed you no damn food, even though he promised to give you food, man. going to be torture, man. And then you're going to feel that fire for taking the MLTB, which is to see you, man. Man, the Lord is terrible, man. The Lord is, is, is the power to be praised and feared, man. But the majority of our people, they're going to learn. But they're going to learn it the hard way. This is the book of Ezekiel 7, verse 25. And that's including those, first and foremost, that call themselves Israelites of men, women, and children, but they being wicked as hell. You definitely going to fear the wrath for the Lord because you're supposed to know better and do better and teach our people to be uh to, to come back and repent and be righteous. But you're not doing that. This is the book of Ezekiel 7, verse 25. Destruction come up. They shall seek peace, a.k.a. comfort, and there shall be none. Right? Because they don't they don't put their comfort in their, in their fear and trust in Yahweh by Shem Shah. They put it in this system, like I said, the military, you know, uh, political. Uh, they, they go into politics. They think it's going to get better from there. And the Lord is going to send more judgments on you than he did ever did before. Verse 26. Mischief shall come upon mischief. I Meaning bad times or bad things happening to you, and it's only going to get worse and intensified. Mischief shall come upon mischief, because mischief goes into disaster. It says, The rumor shall be upon rumor. And then 
it's like it. Then shall they seek a vision, right? They're going to seek the Lord. They're going to seek the men of the Lord when all hell breaks loose. But guess what? It's going to be too damn late. He said, they shall seek a vision from the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests and counsel from the ancients. You see that? You're not going to find the men of the Lord and the ones that they was telling you lies and feeding you lies. All right. The Lord's going to put the spirit on them to take these false prophets, teaching leaders out, man. This congregation man. They're going to get these false prophets, man. Because they've been lying, they're lying in there, man. And now everything is getting worse. Here. They keep telling them that everything is going to be better and it's going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't lining up with us. The Lord's going to put the spirit on their congregation to, to delete them, man. But the true men of the Lord, hey, that family of the word is going to hit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be able to find us, man. The Lord's going to be those men. And who's going to do that? The Lord. And that's an evil time. That's a bad time because when you can't find the answers from the scriptures, there's no comfort. There's no protection. You know? And then what comes from after that, after anxiety and all that, there's destruction from the Lord. As a matter of fact, hold on. Let's go to Isaiah. I don't want to jump around too much. This is Isaiah 45, verse 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai, do all these things. And that's plain. That's plain. There ain't no need to breaking that down. Because I broke down what the word evil means, bad times, or who's bringing it the Lord for your wickedness, man. Because like we always say, yeah, we're going to be in the midst of it. Yeah, we're catching hell like these people, but we got the Lord on our side, though. The Lord ain't on their side, man. When the Lord is on your side and you catching hell, you have protection. You have the names. You have the power and authority through the spirit of power. Yahweh, Shema, Shah, to rebuke demons that's effing with you, man. You know? These people, they ain't got that, man. They ain't got that protection from the Lord. So they become all bugged out, man. In their minds. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the Lord just, just, just tortures the hell out of them, man. That's the difference. And then plus, we're very repentive, man. Anything that we do wrong, that we do, that we know that we did, and the things that we don't know that we did, we repent to the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah daily, for the things that we did in this life and our past lives, right? All right? Because the Lord's dealing with a, a contrite and humble spirit. So this is the book of uh, Amos 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord have not done it. So when people get hit with earthquakes, protesters, uh, tornadoes, hurricanes, uh, they can't afford their groceries. They can't afford to pay their bills. So they got to be evicted. They lose their job. You know what I'm saying? Relationships failing. They took it, You know what I'm saying? Uh, they get the child or children taken away from them or the child turned against them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's from you. How about Shem Oh, that's from the Lord. Verse 7, it says, Should the Lord power do nothing, but he will reveal it for secret, a.k.a. the answers according to the Bible, unto his servants, the prophets, which are men of the Lord. Okay? Men of Yehovah by Shem Shah. Okay? That fear the Lord. Okay? Because that's where it starts. So the evils, the bad times come from the Lord, man. Okay? And if it does come from the spiritual demons, Satan, or the demons, it was the Lord that gave him the orders to do so. Because all angels in the spirit world rejoice at the commandment and the orders that the Lord give them. And they do it perfectly. Even the, the angels on the left-hand side and the angels on the right-hand side, man. All right? They're ready to do the work, the Lord work perfectly. And willingly ready to do it. But once again, that's another lesson for another time, Lord's willing. So with that, I got a jet. Lord's willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time, I say shalom, Lord's willing.